I felt that I gave life to a human being which deserves to be loved. The state of Connecticut has one of the lowest teen birth rates in the country, yet the rate of teen births in the state's largest cities remains high. I am 17 and I had my son when I was 15 years old. Economists and social scientists see a definitive connection between teen births and poverty. Between 2006 and 2010, the most recent years for which the state has teen birth records, Connecticut recorded an average of 22 births for every 1,000 teenage women. In New Haven, the rate during the same period was more than twice the state average. In Waterbury, the rate surpassed 50 births for every 1,000 teens. And in the state capital of Hartford, teen births occurred at a rate approaching three times the state average. In an effort to reduce the number of teen pregnancies in Connecticut, Supporting Pregnant and Parenting Teens, SPPT, has set up support programs in some of the state's largest high schools. At Crosby High School in Waterbury, the nonprofit provides social services and support for more than 50 young teenage mothers. I did feel isolated a little bit at first, which is why I'm so happy I found this program, or this program found me because I, don't have to, I didn't have to feel isolated anymore because I was in a group with several other individuals who were going through the same thing. I'm a very good student. I try my best. I have A's and B's and I'm here every day in school. I have perfect attendance. My mom was really surprised for me to still be in school and keep doing the best I could. Reporter Brian Charles and I recently went to Crosby High School and visited with the four teenage mothers in the SPPT program there who shared the stories of their pregnancy, the challenges of motherhood, and their commitment to provide for their children. I'm 17 years old now. I was 16 when I was pregnant. Right now I'm a senior in high school and my son's name is Lucas and he's eight months old. When I found out that I was pregnant, I was nervous, excited, anxious, and just like scared of what my family's opinion was gonna be. I'm 16 years old, I have a one-year-old son named Marcus. I gave birth to him when I was 14 years old. I'm right now a freshman. I'm 19, I have a six-month-old son. His name is Jomar. scared and I had a lot of self-doubt at the time. I didn't think I could do it. Half of my family were very excited, happy, and then the other half were like, they disowned me for a while and they were just like really upset. My mom, I don't know, I don't know if she was going to be mad or not. Like if I disappointed her or something. But she wasn't mad. I mean, she was like, for like five minutes, that was it. I was shocked. I felt like everything was going to get ruined. Like, I thought I wasn't going to finish school. I thought my parents were not going to help me or have support from anybody else. I felt that they were, like, pinpointing me out, making me feel like what I did and having the baby was going to, like, be a big mistake. But I knew like that like deep down in my heart like that I was doing the right thing by taking care of my son and taking care of him today. I even thought about giving an abortion, but then I thought twice and I decided to keep him. Um, the best thing about having my baby is that he puts a smile on me every morning and he helps me. I don't know how to put it. Like, to not quit, make sure I try to be successful so I could get him everything that he needs and wants and he won't be messing nothing. I love everything but his smile. 
I love his smile. The best thing of having my baby is getting to wake up every morning and see him smiling and laughing. What kind of future do you want to have for your baby? A good one. So it goes in the state of Connecticut, March 2014.